Hi, I'm Mara Garrity and I'm the decorative painter here with Pottery Barn Kids. I'm going to show you how to paint a frame on the wall. Start with a frame. You're going to need to look for some inspiration and I have these Dover copyright free books. You'll need access to a Xerox machine. You need a pair of scissors, a level, an artist paintbrush, and a pencil. The first thing you want to do is pick your shape and you really want to stick to something simple. I think I'll probably use this one because it will work well with the frame. Make sure you bring your frame with you to the copy store. Enlarge your original and isolate it on a piece of paper by itself. Cut out your design. And enlarge this. See if it's the right size. It's still a little too small as you can see, so we're going to go a little bit larger with it. This one looks like it fits pretty well. You have a little bit of uh, space around there to see the wall color. You won't be able to get the entire frame in. Make one more copy to create the other half of the frame. We're going to cut them out, cut the inside out as well. Follow it as closely as you can. Line up the center of the frame. It'll just overlap. Tape our design together. The proportions on this design are a little too long. Fold it over to just shorten it. And we're going to do it on both sides. And tape it up. Make sure that you're doing it evenly all around. There we have our template for our frame. I've chosen Benjamin Moore's China Blue as the base coat. And for uh, the white, I'm going to use White Dove. The first thing you need to do is place your frame on the wall. Once you get it level, you want to just mark the, all four corners with a pencil. Take the frame off the wall. I'm just putting the template up against the wall. Make sure it's equidistant around the line of the frame. Double check that everything is straight. Take your pencil and draw that line on the wall. Trace around the whole template with a pencil. Just make sure you go all the way around and you do the inside and the outside of the frame. And then once you're done, uh, you're going to take off your template. And if there's any areas that aren't smooth, you can just smooth that out with a pencil. And now we're ready to start painting. You could just freehand paint the whole uh, frame, but I like to use tape on the inside. It just gives it a little cleaner look. Tape along that line. And when you get to the edge, you want to use an X-Acto. Cut the tape. Push down on the edges and just kind of burnish the edges a little bit, just with your fingers to make sure that the um, tape is sealed. First, we're going to paint the outside of the frame. Follow that pencil line as closely as you can. And you just want to cover the pencil line. This brush is really good for getting an edge like that. It's just a really small angled painter's brush. Fill in up to the tape. Any little spots that you miss, you can just go back in with a smaller brush. Now we just need to wait for it to dry. Once the paint's dry, you just want to take the tape off. Take a small brush and your face coat and just go back over any areas where the white may have come out of the lines. And you can also touch up any pencil marks that were left on the wall. Now we're done with painting and you just need to put your frame up. This is a great technique to really do something unique with your frame. You can use it to embellish a simple frame like this, to group together a bunch of small frames. Just have fun and experiment with it.